Welcome to Digit Math. Today, we're diving into subtracting two-digit numbers. We've got 10 questions lined up to help you sharpen your subtraction skills. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you find it helpful. Let's get started. 44 minus 15 is... Time to think. In the units column, we have 4 minus 5. Since 4 is less than 5, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 4. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 3 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 14. Now, we have 14 in the units column. Subtract 5 from 14, which equals 9. In the tens column, we now have 3. Subtract 1 from 3, which equals 2. So the final result is 44 minus 15 equals to 29. Sixty-three minus eighteen is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have three minus eight. Since it's not possible to subtract eight from three, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have six. We take one from the tens, leaving five in the tens column and turning the units column into 13. Now, we have 13 in the units column. Subtract eight from 13, which equals five. In the tens column, we now have five. Subtract one from five, which equals four. So the final result is 63 minus 18 equals to 45. 77 minus 29 is time to think. In the units column, we have 7 minus 9. Since it's not possible to subtract 9 from 7, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 7. We take one from the tens, leaving six in the tens column and turning the units column into 17. Now we have 17 in the units column. Subtract nine from 17, which equals eight. In the tens column, we now have six. Subtract two from six, which equals four. So the final result is 77 minus 29 equals to 48. 78 minus 59 is time to think. In the units column, we have 8 minus 9. Since it's not possible to subtract 9 from 8, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 7. We take 1 from the tens leaving six in the tens column and turning the units column into 18. Now we have 18 in the units column. Subtract nine from 18, which equals nine. In the tens column, we now have six. Subtract five from six, which equals one. So the final result is 78 minus 59 equals to 19. 82 minus 33 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have two minus three. Since it's not possible to subtract three from two, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have eight. We take one from the tens, leaving seven in the tens column and turning the units column into 12. Now we have 12 in the units column. Subtract three from 12, which equals nine. In the tens column, we now have seven. Subtract three from seven, 
So the final result is 82 minus 33 equals to 49. 88 minus 49 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have eight minus nine. Since it's not possible to subtract nine from eight, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have eight. We take one from the tens, leaving seven in the tens column and turning the units column into 18. Now we have 18 in the units column. Subtract nine from 18, which equals nine. In the tens column, we now have seven. Subtract four from seven, which equals three. So the final result is 88 minus 49 equals to 39. 96 minus 69 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have six minus nine. Since it's not possible to subtract nine from six, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have nine. We take one from the tens, leaving eight in the tens column and turning the units column into 16. Now we have 16 in the units column. Subtract nine from 16, which equals seven. In the tens column, we now have eight. Subtract six from eight, which equals two. So the final result is 96 minus 69 equals to 27. 93 minus 48 is time to think. Minus eight. Since it's not possible to subtract eight from three, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have nine. We take one from the tens, leaving eight in the tens column and turning the units column into 13. Now we have 13 in the units column. Subtract eight from 13, which equals five. In the tens column, we now have eight. Subtract four from eight, which equals four. So the final result is 93 minus 48 equals to 45. Ninety-two minus thirty-seven is time to think. In the units column, we have two minus seven. Since it's not possible to subtract seven from two, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have nine. We take one from the tens, leaving eight in the tens column and turning the units column into 12. Now we have 12 in the units column. Subtract seven from 12, which equals five. In the tens column, we now have eight. Subtract three from eight, which equals five. So the final result is 92 minus 37 equals to 55. 45 minus 26 is Time to think. Column, we have five minus six. Since five is less than six, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have four. Borrowing one from four leaves three in the tens column and turns the units column into 15. Now we have 15 in the units column. Subtracting six from 15 gives us nine. In the tens column, we have three. Subtracting two from three leaves us with one. Therefore, 45 minus 26 equals 19. Awesome work, everyone. 
You've just completed 10 subtraction questions with two-digit numbers. Keep practicing to get even better. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Digit Math for more fun and learning. See you in the next lesson.